ionizing radiation, which is energy that's given off by radioactive materials. Ionizing radiation has a lot of energy, much more than the low energy radiation from radio waves, cell phones, and microwaves. These types of low energy radiation are called non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation has potential for interacting with and changing atoms and molecules. This is an important distinction which many people may not realize. For simplicity, we'll just refer to it as radiation. If radiation hits the cells in the body, it can damage or even kill the cells. The amount of energy that the body absorbs from this radiation is called the radiation dose. At high doses, and when most of the body is exposed, enough cells die to impair the function of various organs in the body, and that can lead to really serious health effects, including death. If only a specific part of the body is exposed and the dose is high enough, it could lead to localized effects, such as skin injury. At low doses, if any cells are damaged, the cells may repair that damage with no consequence or the cells may leave the damage unrepaired or repair it incorrectly. And these may have long-term consequences and could potentially increase the risk of cancer. You use the word exposed. Is this term used differently for radiation hazards than other environmental hazards? It is. Uh, when our bodies absorb the energy from radiation, we're being exposed to radiation. We don't have to come in contact necessarily with any radioactive materials. If we walk away from the source of radiation, the exposure stops. So like with an x-ray, you're exposed while the x-ray is being taken, but you don't take any of the radiation home with you. Exactly. Uh, now in contrast, if radioactive material gets on our clothing, skin, or hair, it contaminates us. Uh, we call this external contamination because it's on the outside of our bodies. External contamination can be removed simply by taking off contaminated clothing and washing with soap and water. If we inhale or ingest radioactive material, we call that internal contamination because it's now inside our bodies. It's harder to remove internal contamination. Our bodies can get rid of some of it through metabolism and excretion. And for some types of radioactive material, we have medicines. We call them countermeasures that can speed up the excretion process.